Google has officially launched the Pixel Buds A series true wireless earbuds. The Pixel Buds A series feature 12mm dynamic drivers with an IPX4 rated sweat and water resistant design. There's passive noise reduction and beam forming mics to reduce noise during calls, and the A series also support the hands free Hey Google command. However, unlike the original Pixel Buds, there's no wireless charging support or swipe controls, but features like real time translation in over 40 languages are still present. The Pixel Buds A series have been priced at $99, with pre orders set to ship in the US and Canada from June 17th, but there's no word yet on Indian pricing and availability. According to a Bloomberg report, Apple is working on a new iPad Pro model with wireless charging along with a redesigned iPad Mini. The report says it's Apple's attempt to gain momentum in a category that saw a spike in sales due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The report went on to say that Apple is aiming to launch the new iPad Pro in 2022, while the new iPad Mini will be unveiled later this year. Analysts have reportedly predicted that Apple will announce new MacBook models at its upcoming WWDC 2021 event, set to take place on June 7. While the event largely deals with Apple's software announcements for the year, a new investor note reportedly points to work being done on 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models. The new laptops are also reported to run on Apple's latest M1 chip. Apple's AirTag Tracker is reportedly set to receive an update, which will change the time period after which it plays a sound on being separated from its owner. The update is reportedly to address concerns that the device could be used to stalk someone. Moreover, Apple has also announced plans of an Android app for AirTags, which will let a larger number of people detect when one of them has been separated from its owner. Reports indicate that the US Department of Justice is elevating investigations into ransomware attacks to a similar priority as terrorism. According to a senior department official, the move comes in the wake of the recent colonial pipeline hack and growing damage caused by cyber criminals. US attorneys' offices across the United States have reportedly been directed to share information on ransomware investigations with a recently created task force in Washington. Game developer CD Projekt Red has said that Cyberpunk 2077 players have spent 600 million hours playing the game so far. Despite a controversial launch and a bug-ridden rollout, it seems players are spending a substantial amount of time on the title. The futuristic open-world game that also stars actor Keanu Reeves is available to play on all leading platforms including PCs and the latest generation Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Samsung has launched the Galaxy A22 5G smartphone in Europe. It sports a 6.6-inch 90Hz display, a 48-megapixel triple-rear camera setup, and runs on an unnamed octa-core chipset. Its price starting at €249 Euros for the 4GB RAM model, but Indian pricing and availability are yet to be announced. <laughs>